Covenant of Rick Smith. Hi, I'm Ben Aronovich. I write them, he reads them. So, um, maybe I can bounce a question back to you. Uh, which characters do you enjoy writing or spending time with or, I don't know, even thinking about? Like... Well, obviously I enjoy writing Peter I mean, it's, it's, and Nightingale. In, in the same way, it's rather like when you said the voices. It's like they are so central that, that they, they're always a delight to kind of like, um, to, to write. But I, I, I love them all and they're always bloody <laughs> fighting for more time, right? So... I'm sitting there minding my own business and they go, oh, what if this book? I mean, I love Galid, Stephanopoulos and, and Seawell because you just get to say <laughs> a lot with Seawell. You, you don't have to have an excuse. There's no dramatic excuse from Seawell. <laughs> you just throw it into a conversation it's, properly. It's just there. You know, uh, Abigail is a classic character who turned up for like five lines in one book and the next thing I know she's got her own novel. Yeah. Right? Um, I, I find... I find I love them all, and sometimes like the very small characters, like the uh, like in in the Abigail book, like a couple of the little minor foxes yeah. turned out to be much more funnier than I was expecting them to be, and and like you said, the irregulars. I'm I'm always looking for a way to put the irregulars back in the book. I want I want to put more irregulars in my book yeah. and stuff like that. So. I, I, you know, I, I really don't have a favourite. I just no. love them all. They just, it's some a, of them I like more than the fans do, though. Like, I like Zach much more than the fans like Zach. Well, yeah. Well, the, Zach isn't <laughs> Zach isn't a very um, uh, not what's the word, empathetic or I don't know if it's relatable. There's something about Zach because he's basically. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you, you're like you're, he's a little irritating, but I like playing him. Yes, I like I like. Well, that's why I like writing him. Yeah, Probably for the same reason you like playing him because yeah. he's interesting because he's not he's not an empathetic character. No, and he, but there's something nakedly, nakedly. I don't know. I just like the way that he will lie to you. It's like you, you just can't. The first thing that he will do is to we will lie to you. It's like, enjoyable. Yeah. Like like like. Let's face it. He's a waste man. Yeah, but. There's something appealing about being able to be a waste man and get away with it. It would be nice to like, I'm not getting out of bed. I'm not going to buy any. I'm just going to nick someone's stuff. Yes. You know, that kind of lazy, waggish. You know, it's Victorian, isn't it? It's Dickensian. Yeah, it's very Dickensian. Yeah, yeah. He's not also Victorian. he's also going to be um, Peter's dad's manager, I think, in the next book. Oh, cool. <laughs> How can I get Zach back in? Get Zach back in. I just thought, what would be the worst possible manager? He can turn us out to anything. You could see him, you could honestly see him running an estate agent. Yes. Not, not being one, like properly running one, like he blagged it, he sold a few houses, now he's got his own office, but he's still a <laughs> you know. Yeah. Although, you know, I don't think he'd settled down long enough. I no, mean, I true. Estate agent would be too sedentary. Yeah, I, no. I think literary, I mean, uh, a, 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 manager. Variety, a manager or something, that's much more... You know, you can imagine going in and out of like IVs and uh, IV and, and like going, ah, come here all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah.